Hello, I'm Evan Woodruff, an artist from New Zealand, and I'm here today at Schmenker in Dusseldorf, Germany, to talk about acrylic colours. The first uh, acrylic colours from Schmenker I used were the Aero Colour, which is a liquid acrylic ink. It's not a diluted down uh, acrylic. In fact, the Aero Colour were the most intensely coloured acrylics I have found to date. Uh, what I love about the Aero Colour is they're so versatile. So this intense liquid colour can be used in a number of ways. Um, I'm going to try uh, them three or four different ways today and hope that we can see the potential that these can give to your painting. We can see the magic happen. Aero colour, always give them a bit of a shake before you use them. The, the pigment can settle. But you can see the colour just, just bleeds into this water here. Beautiful. So I'm getting this blossoming colour. And the colours interact with each other in a nice, sort of random, uncontrollable way. So this is just going to establish a... This is going to establish a, uh, a, an underpainting for me where I haven't got much control over the colours. They're going to blossom and bleed. Some colours do this more than others, depending on the pigment. Heavier pigments will move into lighter pigments. I used the standard aero colour to get this beautiful strong colour happening on the surface there. I want a more solid colour to go over the top and for that aero colour make total cover which is an opaque range of colours. Slightly thicker but dry to a beautiful matte surface. Thing about a liquid colour is that <clears throat> you can use it with soft brushes to get nice linear effects. So, so far we've used the Aero Colour to drop it into a wet surface and get it to blossom and bleed. We've used it with a brush to get some line work, but it's still more versatile. Aero Liners uh, can be filled with Aero Colour, either straight from the bottle or in, in uh, your own mixtures, uh, and they will give me a, the ability to make continuous lines drawn, written, scrawled. Once I've built up some layers uh, with the lovely vibrancy of the Aero Colour, it's time to get some more solid colour on there. And for that, I use the Schmenka Primacryl. Now, Primacryl is a very special tube acrylic. It's triple milled, which makes it really buttery and uh, almost acts like an oil paint. Uh, so this is going to give me some solidity on here. So I'm using a a series of colours, mixing them together with white. Now the, you might think white is white, but um, Primacryl's pigmentation makes it a far more opaque white than anything else I've used. Schmenker's acrylic range is really unique in that we have the Aero Colour liquid acrylic ink which comes in fully transparent candy colours, opaque total cover colours and a standard range which includes metallic colours. Uh, this was the first colour range from Schmenker that was brought into New Zealand by my father in 1986. So thank you John Woodruff. Uh, 
and supplemented with the Schmenka Prime Acryl, which is a triple milled artist acrylic, which gives a really buttery, oil-like handling under the brush to give a more solid uh, structure to the, the, uh, the light and fluidness of the Aero Color. And these now come in a beautiful new pack. Look at that. I want that for Christmas.